Hi, it's Samuel Larsen here with another video and this time I want to talk about SEO, search engine optimization and not just any kind of SEO, SEO for e-commerce and how to get those biggest bang for your buck um, improvements, whether you're just starting out or uh, you're just getting, uh, giving this like a little bit more attention now. Because uh, e-commerce uh, SEO can be a very deep thing. Uh, any kind of SEO can be like, a very extensive endeavor to take on. But uh, there is, as with anything, there is this highest impact, biggest bang for your buck type of things that you can do to actually reach that 80% uh, results with just 20% of effort. So that's what I want to focus on. And uh, the general mindset that we want to adopt for SEO, it's really, we want to write and serve our target audience, but do that with Google in mind. So we don't write our content for Google, but uh, we want to treat Google as in a sense, our best friend. So not holding any secrets from them, but being transparent and fair in how we treat them. Now, a lot of people ask me whether a blog is essential for uh, like really ranking highly. And uh, I gotta say it helps a lot, but uh, there's a lot more to that than just a blog. And uh, um, there's this thing like um, this maybe like a little bit of a false idea that uh, in order to rank highly and to be like really search engine friendly, you have to have a lot of like keywords like planet all over your site and uh, have a lot of content, a lot of articles and so on. Now, while in general this is true and it definitely helps a lot, there's so much more in SEO than just uh, writing great content. And um, I would say like the most important thing is uh, you want to identify just like two or three keywords that you're really targeting with your store. So let's say uh, we are selling like a specific type of chairs, for example. Now we want to like kind of like specify and like imagine like uh, what will be the best selling product and uh, target those keywords because uh, we want to be ranked on those specific searches and get traffic to our best selling products. So without target keywords, we don't want to just blindly repeat them because again, that's like writing for Google uh, and not for our target customer. Uh, but um, we do want to like, make sure that we use them. We use the same ones and uh, we are related to that particular keyword. But the, the most important thing really is to track your results with these keywords because otherwise this can be very demotivating. You are going to uh, fall off track because um, like who wants to blindly like just keep doing work and work and work. But uh, once you know where you stand and you can see like whether you're improving or not, then uh, you can make adjustments and see like whether this makes sense. So make sure to always track uh, where you are ranking for those specific search terms. Now, um, there is this target keywords, but there's a lot more than this, than just the, the actual text content of your website. So with uh, your uh, headlines, so we're talking like really headline ones, H ones, uh, you want to make sure that uh, they are relevant and that you most likely like want to at least like have that keyword there as well. Then uh, with your alt tags. So you want your images to contain uh, this information about the product as well. So when you upload all of your images, make sure that uh, you do include uh, the product name in there so that uh, Google knows that uh, this image is actually about this single product. And uh, one thing you want to keep in mind is that you're telling a blind friend what this image is about. So imagine like uh, they cannot see 
what uh, is actually in this image. And by you telling them, you make it easy for them to understand. But the images are also important because uh, you want to make sure that they not only have your alt tags, but you really want to optimize them for fast load times because Google also cares about this. And uh, if you have these a lot of high resolution images that are just bloating your website, bloating load times, you will get punished. And the way to do this is just take your, uh, all of your images and save them at 60%. Nobody will notice the difference, but uh, you will actually really like cut down your loading times a lot. So make sure to do that. Make sure to only have a couple of fonts on your site and make it uh, fast. Okay. So another thing I want to finish with is, is uh, making sure that uh, you are click through friendly because click through rates are also very important these days. So make sure that uh, you use page title very effectively because page title is kind of like uh, your banner ad within Google and you really want people to click on uh, this, uh, this page, but not only click on this page, you want them to, um, because like you want them to click for two reasons, basically. You want them to click so that your SEO is uh, improved, but you also want visitors, right? So there's two huge reasons to really focus on click-through rates. And two, two of your weapons are page title, 70 characters to make an impression, and then the meta description, which is the little text under the headline in Google searches is 160 characters. So make sure that you use those effectively and also make sure that uh, you include a couple of like uh, little keywords there as well. Okay, but then overall, don't get too fancy. Just uh, do what Google tells you really, uh, because uh, they're getting really smart about fancy things and you can get really good results uh, without doing any of these risky tactics such as like building a lot of backlinks or uh, like um, all kinds of black hat type of things. So what you want to do is uh, build a little bit of backlinks, kind of like ride the wave, but never go overboard. So if you buy 10 links, for example, that's totally fine. Like you will not get punished for 10 links, I promise you. But you buy a thousand links, I promise you will get punished. So um, there is that little gray area that you can still step on, but uh, be careful because uh, it's a pain to get punished. I can tell you because uh, I heard people buy cheap SEO services and get uh, basically screwed. Okay, so 10 links is good, thousand links is spam, it will get you dropped. And uh, best links are really directories. If you can get to Wikipedia, for example, that's exactly awesome. Uh, it's not actually that hard, but um, you want quality links because one quality link will count a lot more than just a bunch of bad ones. All right, so that's it. Be Google friendly with your target audience in mind and uh, you will do very well in SEO. It's a pretty good thing because it's kind of like a shaker. Once the job is done, you enjoy long-term results. So this is a way, even if you don't have a ton of money to spend on ads, you can uh, like roll up your sleeves and get to work, produce great content. And uh, if you are a fan of writing, it can actually be a lot of fun. So that's it. Thank you for watching and make sure to subscribe for more videos and I'll see you on the next one.